surgical scrubbing using an alcohol-based hand rub. Wet hands with water. Nail brushes must only be for decontamination of nails. Rinse and repeat process on your opposite hand. Apply enough soap to cover all hand surfaces. Rub hands palm to palm. Right palm over the back of other hand with interlaced fingers and vice versa. Palm to palm with fingers interlaced. Backs of fingers to opposing palms with fingers interlocked. Rotational rubbing of left thumb clasping right palm and vice versa. Rotational rubbing backwards and forwards with clasped fingers of right hand in left palm. Rinse hands with water. Ensure you rinse in one direction only and wet mm -hmm. arms. Hand washing should take at least 15 seconds. Apply enough soap to cover your arm. Use this to rub your left arm for one minute using a rotational method, keeping the hand higher than the arm at all times. Repeat the process for the other arm. Rinse hands and arms thoroughly prior to the drying process. Blow it dry thoroughly with unsterile towels. alcohol scrub. Put approximately 5 ml of alcohol based hand rub in the palm of your left hand using the elbow of your other arm to operate dispenser. Dip the fingers of your right hand in the hand rub to decontaminate under the nails. Smear hand rub on right forearm up to elbow. Ensure the whole skin area is covered by using circular movements around forearm until hand rub has fully evaporated. Repeat this process for opposite nails and arm. Cover the whole surface of hands up to the wrist with alcohol-based hand rub, rubbing palm to palm. Rub the back of each hand up to the wrist. Rub hands palm to palm with fingers interlaced. Rub backs of fingers to opposing palms with fingers interlocked. Rotational rubbing of left thumb clasping right palm and vice versa. Rotational rubbing backwards and forwards with clasped fingers with right hand in left palm and vice versa. When hands are dry, sterile surgical clothing and gloves can be donned. Surgical scrub using an antimicrobial soap, wet hands and forearms. Apply antimicrobial soap to nail brush. Scrub each nail thoroughly. Repeat on the nails of both hands. Nail brushes must only be for decontamination of nails. Safely discard nail brushes and rinse hands. Put antimicrobial liquid soap on the palm of your hand. Use the elbow of your other arm to operate the dispenser. The following steps of the hand wash should be performed for a minimum of two minutes each. Rub hands palm to palm. 
right palm over the back of other hand with interlaced fingers and vice versa. Palm to palm with fingers interlaced. Backs of fingers to opposing palms with fingers interlocked. Rotational rubbing of left thumb clasping right palm and vice versa. Rotational rubbing backwards and forwards with clasped fingers, right hand in left palm and vice versa. Rinse. Put another dose of antimicrobial soap on the palm of your left hand using the elbow of the other arm to operate the dispenser. Use this to rub your left arm for one minute using a rotational method, keeping the hand higher than the arm at all times. Repeat the process for the other arm. If the hand touches anything at any time, the scrub must be lengthened for one minute for the area that has been contaminated. Rinse hands and arms by passing them through the water in one direction only, from fingertips to elbow. Do not move the arm back and forth through the water. Hands and arms should be dried using a sterile disposable towel and aseptic technique before donning gown and sterile gloves. The skin should be blotted dry with sterile disposable towels. Using one towel per hand, work from fingertips to elbows, using a corkscrew movement to dry from hand to elbow. The towel must not be returned to the hand once the arm has been dried and discarded immediately. Gowning and gloving. Lift the sterile gown and step back from trolley so as not to contaminate the gown. Don gown by placing hands and sleeves, taking care not to contaminate hands and arms. Do not raise hands above shoulder level or drop below waist. Allow gown to be fastened prior to donning gloves. Keep hands inside sleeves of gown at all times. Open glove packet and lift first glove by the cuff. Place on opposite hand and forearm with thumb facing downwards and fingers pointing upwards. Lifting the upper glove cuff, flip over the fingers and pull glove downwards onto hand. Do not adjust until second glove is in place. Repeat process for opposite hand. Once second glove is donned, gloves and gown cuffs can be adjusted. If double gloving, open second glove packet, lift inside cuff of first glove and insert hand. Now insert fingers of double gloved hand under cuff of second glove. Insert hand and then adjust gloves as necessary. This step is also the process for changing contaminated top gloves during surgery. Removing contaminated gloves during at the end of surgery. Using the fingers of one hand, hook the outside of the cuff over the thumb, taking care not to contaminate underneath. Repeat for second hand. If circulating practitioner is unavailable to remove gloves, pull the first glove off, then the second, ensuring undergloves are not contaminated by top gloves. Safely discard gloves. Repeat top gloving process to replace contaminated gloves.
Hand the cardboard end of the gown waist tie to either circulating or scrubbed practitioner. Slowly turn and remove tie from cardboard end by gently pulling and fasten securely. Approach the operating table, keeping hands below shoulders and above waist. Do not fold arms, place hands under arms or behind your back at any time. Correct procedure for removing gown and gloves. To begin, use the fingers of one hand to hook the outside of the glove cuff over the thumb. Repeat for other hand and discard safely. Hook both gloves over thumbs, then untie gown. Circulating practitioner should undo the gown at the back. Pull gown shoulders down over arms as shown. Roll the gown to avoid contamination, then discard safely. Remove gloves, taking care not to contaminate hands. Once gloves have been removed, perform social hand wash.